It is 648. Let's get to your news in a flash. One man is recovering in the hospital after a shooter attacked them in Rockford Sunday afternoon. Police say the shooting happened around 430 p.m. in the 3300 block of Sun Valley Terrace. They haven't revealed many details about the attack, but we know the victim is expected to recover. A Rockford man has died after someone shot him in a parking lot early Sunday morning. Police say the attack happened just after midnight in the 6600 block of East State Street. The 27-year-old victim died about six hours later. There's no word yet on a suspect or any arrests. We're waiting to hear if Rockford police will make any arrests after a car crash that sent a man to the hospital. Police say two cars collided just before 1 a.m. today at Holland Street and Lincoln Avenue. They say the victim's injuries are serious. There's no word yet on what led up to the crash. The Janesville Fire Department is trying to figure out what caused flames to erupt in one apartment building and left a person with injuries. This happened Sunday afternoon on Morningside Drive. Crews contained the fire to the unit on the first floor. The Red Cross will help other residents if they need repairs. There's a chance for families in need to get free laundry today in Rockford. Edna Better Health of Illinois is paying for two cycles of laundry per family at the Screw City Laundromat on East State Street. This is first come, first serve between 1 and 4 p.m. Applications for more COVID relief grants towards Winnebago County restaurants close this week. The RACVB is taking applications until Friday. This is the second round of grants. Restaurants must be currently operating and meet the previous compliance rules for the indoor dining closure mandates to be eligible. Rockford's permanent Hard Rock Casino will open to the public at 3 p.m. this Thursday. It was all made possible after Governor J.B. Pritzker signed the Rebuild Illinois Act in 2019. Acon, Joan Chad, and Brad Paisley will all perform at the casino for the opening weekend over the Labor Day holiday. That is your news in a flash. Joe